Hi there guys, I hope you have had a good day. Now, Bob Arum has explained that Tyson Fury vs Anthony Joshua will happen and likely next year. Hopefully April or May 2021, that is when he is looking to make this fight happen. But the only thing that will prevent that is a loss for Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua. So this fight must be set in, this fight must be happening and I don't know whether it will happen in April or May, but the thing is Eddie Hearn explained Anthony Joshua will fight in December then likely June or July next year. So, I mean, it's not that far off, but ultimately they still have some difference of opinion about when this fight will happen. I mean, Bob Arum saying April or May, whereas Eddie Hearn saying that Anthony Joshua will fight again in 2021, in June or July. So, I mean, at the moment, they won't know when the fight is happening. The important thing is the fight is happening. That is the most important thing that these two can sort out. Now, there has been contact between the two of them and that is positive. They are ready to start putting things in writing for this fight to happen. But obviously, Anthony Joshua still has a fight still to do before he gets to Tyson Fury, which is Kubrat Pulev, his IBF mandatory. And Tyson Fury, who knows who he's going to be fighting? I mean, one minute, I mean, they can get the fight on with Deontay Wilder. It's going to happen on December 19th. Then it's moved from there because of college football and all of that. So that fight is completely up in the air. Tyson Fury wants to fight in December. He's said that time and time again. So whether that's Deontay Wilder or not, we don't really know at the moment. But the important thing is we want to see when this fight happens. We want to see Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. That is the biggest and most important fight in the heavyweight division at the moment to see who is number one because we waited a long time for Anthony Joshua to get in there with Deontay Wilder. And for whatever reason, that did not happen. So if Deontay Wilder is WBC world champion, I just don't see that fight happening because of egos and all of what else happens behind the scenes. The teams don't get on, it just doesn't work. So that fight was never going to happen, but we have a clear opportunity to get undisputed between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. And it is very important that they take this opportunity to get that done. And while they still have two fights in front of them, it is important they get it sorted now because a fight of this magnitude it takes a long time and a lot of negotiations to get sorted. The biggest stumbling block is always going to be the financials, which has been agreed. 50-50 in the first fight, 60-40 favouring the winner in the second fight. So two fights in 2021. The first one likely between April and July. The first one going by what Bob Arum and Eddie Hearn are explaining is going to be between April and July because obviously Bob Arum explained that the fight will happen April, May 2021. Whereas Eddie Hearn explained that Anthony Joshua will fight again in 2021 in June or July. So that gives us between April and July when the first fight will happen. The second fight will likely happen in December or the back end of 2021. Now, of course, we have to consider what is going to happen with mandatories. Is there going to be a WBC mandatory after the fight between Alexander Povetkin and Dillian White? Because the WBC interim championship is on the line in that fight. So Will a mandatory be called in 2021 for the WBC? Or will it not? Will Tyson Fury find a way to get around that? Can he ask for an exception? Or does he still have to fight the winner of that one? We don't know at the moment, but ultimately Dillian White was guaranteed a world title opportunity in early 2021 until that Povetkin fight. Then we know what happened. Alexander Povetkin got the victory. There is a rematch in November. So that kind of threw everything up into the air and maybe made Undisputed a little bit more likely in the early stages of next year. Now, Anthony Joshua has a WBO mandatory in Alexander Usyk, who is fighting Derek Chisora next. Now, obviously, where Derek Chisora is fighting Alexander Usyk, that gives Anthony Joshua the opportunity to deal with his mandatories in chronological order. So Kubrat Pulev first, then Usyk second. So Anthony Joshua then doesn't have to vacate a belt. And obviously, Alexander Usyk is only doing this so Anthony Joshua can fight in the meantime, before he fights Usyk. So Usyk at the moment is essentially stepping aside and allowing Anthony Joshua to fight his mandatories and not give up a belt. So he's going to enforce his position as a WBO mandatory, provided he comes through Derek Chisora. So what are they going to do? Are they going to vacate or are they going to try and get an exception? I mean, they can ask for an exception, but whether that is granted or not, we don't know because obviously Anthony Joshua is making Usyk wait now so he can fight his mandatory within the IBF. So are they going to be allowed to get that exception next year? Or is Usyk just going to enforce his position as mandatory and make Anthony Joshua fight him or vacate? Eddie Hearn did explain that Anthony Joshua will vacate if he feels like the governing bodies are forcing him into fights that he doesn't want to be taking, especially 
if there is a Tyson Fury fight, they're on the horizon. But that kind of contradicts what Anthony Joshua is saying because Joshua has continuously explained that he wants to become undisputed and win all of the belts. He cannot do that if he has to vacate one of them. So if undisputed is the most important thing for Anthony Joshua, then vacating a belt is going to be detrimental to that. So ultimately, I don't see Anthony Joshua vacating, but there must be some way in which they are going to get around this mandatory position with Alexander Usyk. If not, then the Tyson Fury fight will not be undisputed. And if that is the most important thing for Anthony Joshua and not necessarily fighting just Tyson Fury, then vacating belts is not going to be an option. So there is a contradiction there with Eddie Hearn saying that if Anthony Joshua feels he's being dictated to by governing bodies, then he will vacate. But Anthony Joshua then says that he wants to be undisputed, all of the belts. So is it a bluff or is it just a difference of opinion? Because Eddie Hearn obviously wants to make the biggest fight in the heavyweight division, Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. But Anthony Joshua isn't just interested in the Tyson Fury fight. He's also interested in the silverware, the belt, the undisputed championship of the world, becoming the first undisputed champion since Lennox Lewis. So maybe they are bluffing the WBO. Do you want your belt on the line for undisputed for Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury? Because if they don't, then there is a vacant world title fight between Alexander Usyk and Daniel Dubois, provided Dubois comes through that Joe Joyce fight, which will not be an easy fight at all. And of course, provided Alexander Usyk comes through Derek Chisora, which again is not an easy fight. So they both have two respected fights before that potential fight can happen for a vacant world title if Anthony Joshua does a vacate. But do the WBO want their belt fought for in a vacant world title fight when there is an undisputed fight between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury? I know that there are rules and they have to give their mandatory opportunities. And if they cannot do that, then they will make sure that the champion is stripped of their title. So the mandatory challenger will have their opportunity. But then again, on the flip side, their belt will be vacant when there is a potential undisputed fight between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. Do they want their belt on the line in a vacant world title fight? Or do they want it on the line for Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury? So maybe there is some bluffing involved with this that they will vacate if they cannot get their own way and make this fight between AJ and Fury. I guess the fate of Undisputed kind of does lie with the WBO. Do they want their belt on the line or do they not? I mean, the fight seems to be going ahead. In 2021, many things have been agreed. They are ready to start putting contracts forward and putting things in writing. So this fight between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury is there. It will happen regardless. That seems to be the way and hopefully it stays that way, on course for two fights in 2021. Guys, anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.